What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Redneck TV channel. And today, <laughs> woo! Talked about it last video, said I had a huge surprise for y'all this video. Probably already know what it is by the title. We got some new subs, man. And not just any type of subs, the big yeah. bumpy boys. I'm talking the type of subs that when they hit, shit in the house is gonna rattle. Pictures falling off the walls, absurd. This will be the biggest, nicest subwoofer system I've ever owned. I cannot wait to hook this up, man. But first, I've been getting a lot of hate in the comments. People saying, dude, stop taking your shirt off, man. Oh, thank God he kept his shirt on most of this video so first things first <sighs> my channel dog what are you gonna do about it huh this is what we've came to to try to keep the microphone stuck on it still is coming unstuck seen a comment it was like dude what is this new ken dog man bring back the good old dip and redneck ken dog why don't you just go fuck yourself Never again am I going to manipulate and change my personality and try to act like something I'm not. Just so some yee-yee ass 15 year olds that would sell me out for up church in a heartbeat will like my videos more. To hell with that. So if who I'm becoming seems less entertaining to you or you're bothered by it somehow, unsubscribe. Don't watch my shit. I really don't care. Flex on you haters. <laughs> We also got another doohickey. Told y'all last video I'm getting a new jug for the top. Bada bam. Brand new spanker. Hopefully this fixes my problem with the coolant leaking out. It does feel like it has a lot tighter seal. If anything, I'll just get the upgraded cap online. It's supposed to hold more PSI. I think it's just the tune on it, man. It's tuned up so much the coolant system can't take it. But it is still the heart of my electrical problem because it's getting all them wires up under there wet. Yeah, there's green corrosion all over this connector right here. No wonder there's electrical issues. So that's not gonna be a big problem. I think it'll fix every single problem I have in the truck. Aside from the low boost and the turbo, more than likely gonna be a boot. If not, we'll just pop the turbo out, change all the seals in it, learn how to do all that. And we will have a 100% mint condition or mint running vehicle. And it'll be so fast too. Some dude in town wanted to race me for 500 the other day. Even with me pulling three pounds of boost and eight different codes on it, I still think I would've had him in a quarter mile anyway. Just imagine when it's all running top notch it's gonna be absurd let me just show you all these subs man y'all are gonna cream i think i'm just gonna face the sub straight up we got two 12s they're scar audio my boy old miker hooked me up with a deal on them y'all know him my cousin gave me this amp all the wires i need tape was pissing me off wrap this bullshit around me that way something will hold the damn microphone went ahead slapped that brand new overflow tank into it or the degas bottle next time we drive it we're gonna see if it's still spewing cooling out check these subs out we're in a ported box. There's Scar Audio 12. Some of the best subs you can get. Or Sundown Audio is the best. But these are like up there in that class. Check this amp out, brother. 2,000 watt Scar Audio amp. This is the fattest wire I've ever used. Yeah, man, we're about to hook it all up. They're brand new subs, so we can't turn them up just yet. We're gonna have to wait about two weeks before we can really put some juice onto them because they need to break in. Brand new, they're real stiff. This is a 2,000 watt amp and they're 2,500 watts subs so really i need a 5000 watt amp but this is gonna work for now people that have a lot of intellect with sound systems please let me know what i should buy just watch this video look at all the shit and just give me like little pointers tips that i should do also i want to do a pa system where i put some speakers up under the grill of my truck some speakers under the frame of my truck that way when i'm jamming out listening to music you can hear it on the outside too i'm not very knowledgeable when it comes to subwoofers so any knowledge will help also before i get started with this Brand new merchandise, my boys. RNTVShop.com. I'm gonna run all the wires on the right side this time. Go ahead and pop all these panels off. <clears throat> what are these bees everywhere for, man? Run it all to the battery. <laughs> oh yeah, ran that nice, brother. Opened up the carpet here, ran the wire through that little grommet up there. Drilled a little hole in it, so I put the wire straight through it. I'm gonna shut y'all off, do a little bit of progress. I'll get back to y'all. Uh, I did that so I could get a bare spot on the paint for the ground. Be a lot better connection. 
about the best ground I've ever had right there. Ground wire in. This ain't gonna matter so much because nobody's gonna come through this door anyway. If I get to a point where I need more than three seats, they can just sit in my lap. Two or three fit in the passenger seat. I'll still fit five people in here if I have to. Definitely no more than two dudes though. Check this out, bro. My buddy Garrett gave me this shit. Jesus. Yeezy jacket. I think it's what it is. It's got a rebel flag patch on it. It was an actual Grand Wizards jacket. I'm the gosh kid dog. Are you saying the rebel flag's racist? The Confederate flag is definitely not racist. It's a flag. How can it have feelings, dumbass? I'm gonna take all these old wires out from the old subs and we'll get back to you. All right. Check it out. Our merchandise came in the mail. I went ahead and made cutoffs with them all. I needed some more cutoffs. It's just cutoff weather right now. Today we're. Kenny, just put a Band-Aid on. It'll hold the microphone on. Yeah, this is a Band-Aid and it doesn't work. Nothing sticks to my skin, man. This tape feels pretty sticky. I just found it in the garage earlier. Why won't it stick to my skin, dude? And racist. I guarantee if I was black, it would stick. I hate this stupid hillbilly shit. Dude, I'm about to give up on the lapel mic. I'm about to literally... All right, I'll just hold it. Today, we're rocking the toxic masculinity shirt. This shirt is definitely one to piss off the green haired bitch. Who doesn't want to do that? I also got all the other designs sent in today. Check them out, man. Embrace masculinity. Beautiful design. This is probably my favorite. Hit maxes, evade taxes. Ha ha ha. Woo, relatable. King shit. For whenever you wake up feeling like that guy. Testosterone infused. All of my merchandise is constructed with actual testosterone in the fabric. But this shirt here actually has way more than all the other shirts. I think it's got like 200 nanograms of testosterone infused in the fabric. So if you get this one, be careful. May increase muscle mass tremendously. And now we got some classics. Redneck Supreme logo from way back in the day. You know the Supreme logo, but instead of Supreme it says Redneck. Kind of cool. Made that up when I was in high school. Oh, so creative. Then we got the, the RNTV Ford logo. And then the top seller, which is the classic RNTV logo. This logo is just so sick, man. But yeah, that's my merchandise. That's all we got up there on the store now. We're going to be coming out with new designs here soon. More gym style attire is what I want to focus on. So yeah, support your boy. Get some badass shirts over at rntvshop.com. Like, dude. Buy shirts. Have money. They're literally the same price as regular shirts, if not cheaper. And they're badass designs. Like, you're not going to go to Walmart and find a shirt that says embrace masculinity. Be proud of being a man. That's what they want to take away from you nowadays. They want us to all be little fem boys, not speak for ourselves. Have our own thoughts and ideas. That's where we step in. We say, to hell with that. You're not injecting me with that liquid because I don't want it. And you're not going to make me. Nobody's going to make me do shit that I want to do. I've gotten the most minimal vaccines I have my entire life. My dad raised me on that. I hardly ever get sick. So why the hell somebody think it's okay to force me to get a vaccine for a fucking cold that lasted six hours for me? Everybody freak out, lock down. It's like a wizard disease though. When you're at a restaurant, the dinner table is base. You can take your mask off and nobody can get sick. But if you stand up, oh, you're not in the safe zone. You left base. You gotta put a mask on and get people sick. Come on now. Men use logic. That's what we need more of in the world. Not all this fruity, submissive bullshit. But yeah, if you don't have money, steal your Nana's credit card absolutely max it out just keep buying shirts until you can't buy anymore nah i'm just kidding don't do that unless you really want to but just don't tell them i said to do it. check it out brother we got the subs hooked up yesterday mm. got the amplifier screwed on in the box right here once i start balling man after y'all start buying my merch i'm gonna get a new lens because i think that's what's wrong with this camera lighting is ass the autofocus is ass there is a little problem with these subs i think they're still breaking in so i can't turn them up really loud but even still when it hits like a kind of a hard note it'll make a, a little rattle sound i'm not sure if it's one of the trim pieces up here rattling or if it's the subwoofer itself because my other sub made a similar sound every time it hit it would and eventually it just got worse and worse to the point where the subwoofer was unlistenable i didn't even want to listen to it it sounded so bad but hopefully that's not what's wrong with it y'all ready to hear these subs man the best subwoofers i've ever owned i've never owned any bass system that worked this good it is insane isn't that crazy they're turned down too bro they're not turned up at all turn these things up especially with a 5,000 watt amp gonna be insane one more song well it's not really a song it's called a low bass test Found that one! 
what it is, bro. I've wanted that my whole life. <laughs> Windows are shaking, my back glass, side mirrors, and front. Even when I had four 12s in my F-150, it didn't hit that hard. And another thing that tickles me to death, you know how I was just saying, it makes that rattle sound? I just found out it's my back glass. When it hits a really hard note, my back glass is rattling. It's not the sub making that sound. So I'm good to turn them up even louder once they're broken in, dude. That is insane. I did the wiring really good. But yeah, we got the power wire here with a fuse tap, ran it across, special terminals put on. I don't know if you can see them, like the ground terminal and the positive, I swapped them out. Zero gauge wire to the ground, to the body. Same thing over here on this ground terminal. Zero gauge wire from here back to the body. That way my ground on the subs will work a lot better. It's all zero gauge wiring. I'm tickled to death over this. I got a diesel truck with subs that hit hard, man. It might not mean a lot to anybody watching, but this is just like my dream, you know? I've always wanted that. Even when I had that Ford F-150, I just wanted a better system and I wanted a diesel truck so bad. If I could just go back now, when I was 18, I always when I was 18, man, I would look, I would imagine, dude, why am I getting emotional? This is gay. I remember when I was 18, right? Here's something like, oh, well, this movie's gonna come out in 2023 or whatever, and I'd be like, Huh, 2023, I'm gonna be 23 years old then. I wonder what I'll look like then. I wonder what I'll have accomplished, what I've done with my life. If I could just have myself, even from a year or two years ago, just look at me now, I'd be so proud. This ain't nothing yet, man. It's just a start. I haven't done shit. New degas bottle did not fix the coolant problem. Still spewing out, a little wet down there, and we're lower on coolant. So if anybody, knows the exact cap I need to buy online that's like an upgraded more PSI cap, please let me know. If not, I'm just gonna throw Teflon tape on those threads. Yeah, let me know guys. I have to fix that to fix the heart of all the electrical problems that I have. Next video, I'm gonna do some diagnostics on the electric. I actually found something pretty ugly yesterday that when y'all see it, you're gonna be like, ah. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I could have made it longer by going out and doing that fool or shit, but I wanna go pull up on the homies, flex subs on them. So I wanna go ahead and get this video out. Once I get shit rolling, homie, get a good vlogging camera, one that's small and portable, easy to bring around, start recording a lot more. Things like that are just gonna take time, but I already know what camera I'm gonna buy. So we'll be good to go. But regardless of the lack of longevity, really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you let me know by leaving this video with a fat thumb up and spam a w in the comments seems to be helping with the algorithm if you don't want to comment a w just comment whatever like and comment damn it even if you hate my guts leave a hate comment if you want i'm gonna hop off here i love y'all more than some random guy should love a group of people over the internet kind of weird the amount of emotion i feel towards y'all i'll see y'all next tuesday later it's me. It's me. It's me. It's me.